everybody, so Shaz is here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. Uh, we got the uh, pop pop boat contest uh, getting ready to come up and running. And uh, if you go over to my friend Desert Experimenter uh, over there at Cultus's Weebly page, uh, I'll get the links and put them down in the description of this video for you. But uh, for those of you who don't know what a pop pop boat or a putt putt boat, whatever you want to call them, uh, it's a little bitty uh, boat that has a a little candle that runs a little steam diaphragm motor and uh, puts around in the water. Well, we uh, got an idea to make this uh, video or make a contest to see who could come up with the most creative version of this and uh, one to be scaled up and, uh, you know, maybe possibly even be able to uh, ride around a full grown man. I got a piece of tape stuck to that. <laughs> anyway, excuse me. We got the contest uh, getting ready to go there, and uh, if you go over there to the link that I'll provide in the bottom, uh, you'll be able to uh, check out all the rules and regulations. Also, uh, check out my video, uh, my brother, uh, my friend's video, uh, Desert Experimenter, and uh, he'll uh, go over a little bit of the rules with you and that kind of stuff. But uh, there's a lot of cool prizes, and the prize pool is kind of getting a little bit bigger as we go, and we hope to uh, have a whole lot of uh, participation with other researchers and stuff and it's just gonna turn out to be a whole lot of fun and a pretty good sized deal uh, if you haven't uh, been over on uh, shazizradio.com come listen in on my uh, radio show tomorrow 8 a.m. central to 10 a.m. central and then I also have a, a show on Sunday the Knights of the Round Table which you're welcome to join and actually either one you're welcome to join in uh, you can call in live via Skype. Just use uh, user Shaziz as uh, my uh, Skype name and add me as a contact and then uh, call in and ask me some questions or something like that. Anyway, uh, this little uh, boat right here, just a little toy with some basic science, uh, hopefully will spark off a whole lot more ideas and uh, some really cool innovations and stuff like that. Matter of fact, uh, while uh, I've been uh, tinkering around with this, I did a video just here recently, uh, thermal electrics, and I had talked about thermal couples. Well, uh, I took these uh, three thermal couples right here. I couldn't find any thermal piles, and those are these are only about 30 millivolts a piece, and I wanted to see if maybe I could get them to. Uh, you know put out just a little bit more juice by running them in series and then uh, have a uh, three little capacitors in there in between each one and uh, basically charging up a larger capacitor but I seem to have gotten better results with uh, with just the uh, large capacitor by itself either way I'm gonna if you notice it's already got five bolts on there I've been tinkering around with it see if I can short that capacitor out Get that voltage to drop down. Do 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 do. But keep in mind, this is only in the millivolt range. But I think that with a little bit of work, could probably get. Oh God, it just won't go totally dead. All right. Well, anyway, I'll go ahead and fire up one of these candles, and as long as I haven't knocked the wire loose, so we should start getting a little bit of voltage going on. All right, there's candle number one. See what our voltage is going. You can see the voltage is already rising on uh, on one uh, little candle. Urgh. At the ten point, uh, ten point, uh, eleven point. I just can't keep up with it. <laughs> it's up to twelve point six seven eight. 13.12 millivolts and rising. All right, now let's just go ahead and throw another candle up in there and see if we can speed it up even more. Urgh! And we got another candle on there. She's uh, cooking right along now. Now, granted, the uh, thermal electric so far until we figure out a good uh, way to uh, get more energy out of like the uh, thermal piles, those will go up to like 750 millivolts. And I'm hoping to get a hold of some of those and run some experiments. Okay, now we got three of them on there. 
Anyway, uh, if you want to try to do some sort of uh, deal for the pop pop or putt putt boat contest and actually uh, use some thermal couples to maybe uh, run a little electric motor or something, if you can possibly get that done or something, uh, check with the rules and make sure uh, make sure I'm not wrong about that. But I think that'll be all right as long as it's all running on thermal. We just want it to be like either candle powered or you know thermal thermally heated uh, whatever made out of uh, as much recycled junk as you can get your hands on as you can see the voltage still rising right there but uh, there you go there's a uh, little bit of thermal electrics going on got three uh, thermal couples run in series we're using three candle uh, tea light candles going on there and I've got uh, some little capacitors in between each one of them all run in series with each other coming up to charge this big old capacitor which uh, I can't see the side of it uh, I just threw everything out of whack do 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 oh, sorry about that anyway it's just a large capacitor just that time I knocked it off right there it's just going back up Alrighty then, I'm not sure exactly how high this will get without sitting here monkeying around for a while, but it uh, uh, looks like I'm up to 6 minutes and 37, 38 seconds on this video right here. And since I want to throw in a clip for the uh, the uh, pop pop boat there, for the people who haven't seen one of them, then I better cut this short. Anyway, she's still going up a bit. Um, like I said, uh, stay tuned. If I uh, get any, man, I want to make y'all dizzy. <laughs> if I get any more information on the uh, thermal electrics that I'm tinkering around with, I hope to get some uh, some thermal piles and test them out because essentially what those are are thermal couples that are uh, more than one, so like a cluster of them, a bundle of them, and I've seen some on eBay that uh, say they'll put out uh, 750 millivolts. And so if I can get a hold of some of those, uh, who, who knows, I might try to build me, since we've got time, I might try to build me a uh, thermal electric uh, putt putt boat and maybe a steam powered one as well. But either way, I'll throw uh, the links in for the uh, contest and I hope y'all uh, stay tuned and join in on that contest. Join me on my radio show on shazizradio.com in case you have any questions or whatever. Talk to me or Desert Experimenter on there. Uh, he's uh, just recently put out a video for the uh, contest as well. You can check out his video over on his channel. I'll put links to all that kind of stuff there and links to Shaziz Radio. And if you want to join me, uh, like I said, it's 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Time on Saturdays and 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Time on Sundays for the Knights of the Roundtable. Would love to see you and hear from all my listeners out there and. Uh, when I uh, do some more uh, on this uh, thermal electrics, I'll throw some more of that in there for you. I still believe that if you get enough of these, that you could actually get enough working voltage. Uh, you know, maybe build a firebox uh, with a whole bunch of fingers going inside there. Uh, all these little uh, thermal couples, and then run them all in series together uh, to actually uh, actually get some useful uh, energy out of thermal electrics. Now the Peltair element, uh, you can you can see those. Do a little bit of research on the Peltair element. Uh, that seems to get quite a bit, but there's a lot more involved with uh, using it than these. These are simply you just heat them up, and each one of these is supposed to range in about uh, 30 uh, millivolts. And you can see that uh, it's kind of fluctuating there because I keep bumping everything around, but. Uh, there's uh, it's up to 44, around 43 to 44 millivolts, uh, 0.4, whatever. So that's over the 30 millivolts. So I am uh, getting some step up out of the deal, and uh, hopefully I can work it out and get even more than that. Um, where there's a will, there's a way. That's why I was talking about uh, think outside the box. Thanks for uh, checking out my video. Give me the thumbs up if you like it and. Hopefully my uh, friend the thumbs downer don't come flying by. <laughs> I must have made, uh, made, made an enemy out there somewhere. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. 
it's all about the information and hopefully I'm helping you out a little bit and uh, if you got any ideas and you want to share them with me or whatever oh yeah one last thing before I cut this off is uh, since Google jacked around with the doggone uh, uh, comment section I'm having a heck of a time trying to keep up with comments and all that kind of stuff I apologize for that but if you want to weigh around that just contact me on Shaziz Radio, uh, call in live, and uh, you know you'll uh, you'll be able to talk to me right directly, or just tech, uh, add me as a contact on Skype and just call me up and say hi and show you around my lab and all that kind of stuff. And uh, oh, one other thing, uh, Virtual Labs is this close to being up and running, and you'll be able to see a whole bunch of uh, researchers real time in their labs and uh, do real time tests with them and kind of be able to weed out all the um, the monkey business so to speak uh, listen in on the radio show you hear all about it yeah, with that said peace and love everybody take care you're all nice and warmed up there yay now when I first saw these things, I was amazed. I had a friend that came over and showed me a uh, old old book from way back. It's an old uh, chemistry book made made back in the 1800s, and they had all kinds of the really nifty stuff in there about hydrogen and things that you wouldn't think about that they knew back in them days. But uh, while he was here, he had talked to me about these little toys called pop pop boats. And uh, so, with that said got on uh, YouTube and looked up and seen that there's a lot of people out there that mess around with these as a hobby. Uh, the Canadians make some really nifty versions of them. But I see more to this pop pop boat than uh, just playing around with a little toy. So uh, Desert Experimenter and myself are going to put together a contest and we'll get a video up with all the uh, rules and stuff like that and uh, the prizes that we want to put together for everybody <clears throat> and we want to take and use this concept to make a wheel that will literally spin around in the water and produce energy at the same time so with that said uh, stay tuned and uh, if you're interested in getting into the contest there we're going to have different categories and uh, we even want to try to see if we can't make one that's uh, literally big enough for a, a person to ride in So. <laughs> It ought to be a lot of fun. You can see this nifty little deal. It's just a, a little boiler running off of a candle, spinning around a circle, and I was quite impressed. The, this bowl's kind of a little tight spin right here, but for the video, is the closest that I had. For, if you've got uh, more room, these things will really get up to speed. I was quite surprised whenever I saw it. I thought it would be moving a lot slower than what it is, but... There it is. I got it off of eBay. It cost me three dollars and fifty cents plus about three something for shipping, and so essentially about under eight bucks. I had me one delivered, and uh, there it is. <laughs> pop, pop, put, put, whichever one you want to call it. I just think it's really neat. Uh, old toys have a lot of science to them, and so if you know of any other old toys that uh, work off of that, either steam or like the Sterling engine, you know. We all know about little steam engines and Sterling engines, but I never, uh, until uh, my friend told me about this, never realized about this particular boat right here, or this particular toy. And uh, so here we go. We're going to spark off a contest, and there will be some really cool prizes for everybody, uh, everybody who enters to win, and have a lot of fun doing it. So with that said, peace and love, everybody. Take care.